Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I am just going to show you how to work a shell edging. I'm going to be working this along the baby blanket called the Shell Stitch Baby Blanket. It's an easy beginner project and um, the video link is in below in the video description if you just look below if you are interested in making this baby blanket. But when I made this blanket, I decided that I did not want to put a border on this because I didn't want it to disrupt the the color way that has already been established by this self-striping yarn. But I got many people asking me, well, how do I do a, a border if I want to? So that's what this, this um, video is going to answer that question. So I have um, completed the last row of this particular baby blanket and let me also mention that you can use this um, on any edging for any any project okay just as a reminder I am using Red Heart Yarn Super Saver Stripes this is a worsted weight yarn and when I say worsted weight these usually have a medium or a number four on the label so when you go to purchase yarn for projects always you look for that if you're looking for a medium or a worsted weight yarn um, thinner yarns are going to be lower number and thicker yarns will have a larger number. Okay, I'm also going to be using a size 9 or I or 5.50 millimeter crochet hook. And as always, I highly recommend that you have a yarn needle and a pair of scissors handy. Okay, now we're ready to begin. This is where we ended with a single crochet um, on the last row of this baby blanket. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a chain one and another single crochet in that space. So just kind of turn that corner. And I'm going to not work in the first end of this first row, but instead I'm going to work in the single crochet. Now this is going to be the way all the way across the edging here. So I'm going to work five double crochets in that space and this is the same as we've been doing for the shell stitch here which was one two three four five double crochets so I'm gonna do work five double crochets in that space right there. Now if you need to slow this video down ever um, all you need to do, and this goes for any video, is look in the bottom right here. If you're watching the right-handed, it would be on the other side about here. If you're watching the left-handed version, there um, is a little gear icon. If you just click on that, you can pick the speed. You can speed me up if I'm getting too boring, or you can slow me down if I'm going way too fast for you. If you're watching from a cell phone, look up here. There'll be three dots. If you click on that it will do the same thing you can adjust the speed okay now after I completed those five double crochets remember I'm going to skip this shell I'm not going to work there and I'm going to work a single crochet in that next row which has a single crochet I'm going to skip this chain three and working in the single crochet right here I'm going to work five double crochets. Get some more yarn here. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to skip this next um, part, which is actually part of a shell stitch. And I'm going to go to the next single crochet and I'm going to work a single crochet in that next space. So we're going to do that all the way across. Let me do another one for you. Skip the larger row here or the stitch, the row with the larger stitches and then in the single crochet right below it, five double crochets to make up that shell. Two, three, four, and five and then again skip this next row right here and we're going to single crochet 
in the next space, just like that. Okay, so this is pretty much what we're going to do. Go ahead and work that all the way until you get to the corner. Okay, after working this all the way across the edge, let me show you what to do for the corner because it's going to look a little different than the other corner. Let me show you the first corner that we did, and this is in keeping with the pattern. As you can see, it is it is very much you know rounded off. Um, but this corner we're going to do a little differently to keep the same pattern going. Instead of working a single crochet here, do you see the hole where that half shell was crocheted in our foundation chain? We're going to work eight double crochets instead of five in that space. So let me go ahead and, and work these quickly. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now we're going to be working across across the um, the foundation chain, and this is going to be pretty straightforward. In this space right here, we're going to work a single crochet. In the space here that is opposite the first shell that was crocheted, we're going to crochet five double crochets or make, you know, the equivalent of one shell in that space. Okay, let me do a quick count here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then the next let me show you where that is. It says little space where we skipped some chains. Go ahead and crochet a single crochet in that space. And then in the space again, it's always going to be opposite that shell. Go ahead and crochet five double crochets inside there. Three, four, and Five. Let me stop and show you what you should have there. Okay, and then again we follow that up with another single crochet in that space. It should be a pretty good size hole there where you crochet that. So go ahead and do that all the way across the bottom of the afghan. After working this all the way across, we get to the corner, and we're going to do this the way we did the beginning corner. We're going to work a single crochet, chain one, and then another single crochet. And now we are going to work across the other side and we're going to skip the first um, area here and then we're going to anchor this right in the next space right up there. Hope you can see that. We're going to work those five double crochets right in that space. One, two, three, four, and five. In that next space, we're going to skip the chain here. And in the next space, right up here, it's at the top of the chain. We're going to work a single crochet there. And again, skip the next area. And then right up here, we're going to anchor those five double crochets. If you're not sure where to crochet them, just know that you're going to be skipping the space and um, the the shelves should fall nice and neatly and spaced. Okay, if they are too close together, then maybe you're putting them in the wrong place. Okay, all right, so we do the five double crochets. And we're going to skip the next section and then right up here, we're going to anchor that next single crochet. All right, so go ahead and work that all the way down that other side. Okay, if you followed my pattern um, row by row, I'm going to show you how to end this. Now, if you made your blanket shorter or longer, 
it may end slightly differently. It actually may be easier to end than what I'm about to do. But the first, or actually the last row worked, is the first um, half shell created. So what I'm going to do here, because I'm going to come continue to work on this shell to make it rounded, I'm going to go ahead and crochet five double crochets in the space. This is the same space where the half shell was created. Okay, so now I have five double crochets and I'm going to skip the chain two and I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to that first double crochet of the chain to kind of give it that rounded effect. And now I'm going to fasten off with the chain, give it a tug, uh, find my little pair of scissors here and trim a nice long strand so that I can use my needle to hide it. And I'm going to go ahead because some of you, this may be the very first video you've seen of um, on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hide this loose thread. I like to do this on all my videos. So if you've seen my videos before, you know what I'm going to do here. Now I like to have the backside facing, but honestly, with this particular project, it's reversible. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to weave this under under all of these stitches right here that are the same color. Okay, and I think that's good enough. So go ahead and pull back a little bit on that. I'm going to get my scissors and cut close, but not so close that I'm actually don't want to cut any stitches there. Okay, so that that is now hidden forever, and we are done with this with this shell edging. I hope you enjoyed that. And again, you can apply this to any of your crochet projects. The trick is, is just spacing these in such a way that you do get the shell effect. Okay. Well, if you like this, please go ahead and hit that little thumbs up on the, on the video there. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any of the offerings that I have coming your way. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.